hello hello ladies and gentlemen of meant for millions so we actually have some male species in the group lately so um welcome everyone hello i hope you're having an amazing tuesday and i wanted to come on my shift method and really how I've used I created this framework from what I've actually done in my in my personal life and in my business life to really create these like quantum leaps in my business to really create um, just an unshakable unstoppable mindset so I am gonna just share with you what shift actually means um, the different um, categories that you have to kind of go through the different levels that you have to go through in order to completely transform and completely shift your mindset and then i'm also going to be talking about how we can work together to put this model into play into your business into your life and all of that good stuff oh melissa ronda hello 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 i'm like going crazy over here with my my eyelashes they're crazy big eyelashes in person but on camera they look amazing so who knows what's gonna happen after quarantine here so hi see Heidi Melissa all right guys so I'm just gonna dive right in and get right to it so the shift method is really I mean this is essentially the core principles that I use within myself all the time every day over the last seven years once I started to really get into personal development and mindset and money mindset um, you know being able to go through my own personal hells to be able to really shift and you know create abundance and just incredible incredible opportunities and money and clients and things in my business and then also I use this with my clients so it's so funny I just got off the uh, call with one of my clients today and I actually have to go back and see if I can grab her recording but she she was like um my head's about to explode right now right because we were able to like really dive deep into what was stopping her from claiming this success that is just it's hers like it's so obvious that she has the success that she's been holding herself back so um this is what this is all about right like a lot of the things that we go through as an entrepreneur as you know a business person as a woman in general is you know overcoming our own battles like overcoming our own inner shit overcoming our own sabotages and our own blocks to be able to allow things to happen and we get so caught up and we start making excuses and we start having these reasons for why things aren't working and it's like oh well i just don't have the right funnel or i just don't have the right audience or i just don't have the right offer um, and we make up all these things but the reality is that we aren't getting the things that we desire most because we're not ready for it like we just aren't mentally prepared for it, sometimes physically prepared for the influx of cash, the influx of clients, the influx of things. And so we create these like hidden blocks, right? Like we create these subconscious patterns that keep us stuck because it feels safe, even though it's even though it's like we want that thing so bad and we can see so clearly the thing that we want so bad th where we are right now, even though it kind of sucks, it's still safer, right? It's still safer for us to like stay here and you know my shift method it's not just mindset it really is based in identity first i feel that identity is the missing link right because no matter what you do no matter what strategies you have no matter how much effort you're putting in no matter how many hours you're working if you're not the person if you're not being that person if you're not stepping into that role it's never going to happen for you or it's just going to happen on such a small scale that it's going to be super frustrating right so the shift what is the shift and what is it based on so sh the first part is setting new standards so this for me like it's funny that a lot of the stuff like with my business and with my personal life have crossed over because i think a lot of this stuff can also um relate to like you know all kinds of different things you know your food right what you're eating your diet your health your relationships right how you interact with other people the relationships that you have um but it's about setting new standards so really up leveling your mentality creating new normals for yourself the reason why your life kind of feels like a groundhog day is because things are just normal like the way you wake up the time you wake up what you eat how you operate your day to day 
what you're doing throughout the day in your business, the types of clients that you attract, the, the level of money that you receive is usually like there's a normal setting to it, right? Like it's like you'll never really go below it, but you also never really go above that, right? If you really look at like the average of what you have and the reason why all these things are just their habits because we've made them normal. So the first thing that you have to do is to set a new standard, is to create a new normal. It's to create and dream and desire from the place that you want to be versus from where you are right now, right? And learning how to really explore like this abundance and being unlimited and being unstoppable. And, and for me, it had a lot to do with like um, what I was no longer tolerating, right? So what, what am I no longer tolerating? Like that's a really good question to ask yourself when you think about setting new standards. So there may be a lot of things that if you were, you know, a multiple six figure coach, if you were a seven figure businesswoman, if you were thinner, if you had more money, if you had more freedom, there are certain things that, you know, if you look at your life right now, you're going to be like, mm, yeah, I wouldn't tolerate that bullshit but you're doing it now because that's your normal, that's your standard. So the very first thing is to up-level that, right? It's to up-level your normal and to set new standards. So that's the S. Those of you that know me know I, I love acronyms and I love alliteration. So like all of my programs, they're either like an acronym or an alliteration. It just makes it, for me, way more fun, but it also makes it a lot easier to remember. So number one is setting new standards. Number two is healing old stories and beliefs. So this one is huge because unless we really heal the trauma, unless we really turn the stories around, we're just gonna keep repeating the same patterns, right? So how many times have you been in any situation, whether it was working with shitty clients, being in a shitty relationship, not taking care of your body, um, and, and then you get these like little sparks where it's like, oh my God, there's like light at the end of the tunnel or like things are getting better and you know, I'm making different decisions. And then bam, you go right back to the old ways, right? Like you're tested and it's like, the reason why is because you still have these traumas. You still have these stories. You still have these deep seated, deeply ingrained beliefs that aren't gonna allow you to get to the next level. So it's time to rewire, rewrite, and ingrain a new belief system. So that is what the H is all about. It's, it's healing, right? There's a lot of healing work that a lot of us have to do. It's healing, but then also rewriting a new story, creating new beliefs, creating new stories, and then being able to step into that, right? Because it's these things that will always bring us back until we learn the lesson, right? Until we actually get it. So that is part two, that's the H, that's heal old stories and beliefs. Part three is intentional identity. So I talked a little bit already about identity and the importance of identity and really just like who you have to be, who you have to be. And a lot of times this is really difficult for people because they're like, well, I don't really know who I have to be. Like, I don't really know how to act as that person if I've never been like that before. Like, how do I act like a millionaire if I, like, I've never been a millionaire or I've never been around millionaires? How do I act like a multiple six-figure coach if I, if I haven't done that already? You know, this part of it is really what I use in my tools. Those of you who have been following me that know that I do the journaling, this is about like future pacing. This is a secret weapon, like really envisioning and embodying and stepping into this brand new identity. Like, who is this person? How does she act? What does she do every day? Who is she surrounded with? Um, what does she eat? Um, what is she doing? Like, how does she operate? How is she with her husband? How is she with her kids? How is she with her clients? And then we kind of bring in the, the new standards, right? So how do we step into these new standards and no longer tolerate the bullshit anymore? So, the I here, the third step is intentional identity, like really, really locking into that identity of the new person that you most desire to be. So I'm just gonna keep going with the shift. I see a lot of comments here, which is amazing. Um, and I'll get to those in a second, um, but really just want to, um, you know, go through the shift method and why it's so powerful and why it works because 
we're not just scratching the surface, which is what a lot of stuff does, what a lot of the mindset stuff that I see happening, a lot of the, um, you know, manifestation and law of attraction stuff that barely like it just barely scratches the surface which is why if you've been doing some of that stuff and you're like oh i don't know why it doesn't work um it doesn't work because we haven't actually gone down deep into the layers to to clear all of that to allow the new things to be to allow us to step into that new identity so a lot of you guys know too jenna faith that is like that was my identity that was like my that was my coming out, right? So it was somebody that was that was always here, right? But it was just pushed down with old stories, old beliefs, wounds, um, trauma, like just bad things, right? That like just held that part of me down. And once I made that shift, once I really stepped into this new identity, like my life is literally like night and day. Unfortunately, we're in quarantine. So, you know, things are a little bit different, but the reality is like who I am, how I show up, my energy, um, all of that stuff is like literally night and day. And, and I get messages every single day from people like, oh my God, I love everything that you're doing. Oh my gosh, I can just tell that you're just completely different. Like, I love your energy, right? So it's like not just identifying that identity, but also being able to step into it, right? Um, so the fourth one kind of um, piggybacks off of the identity, and this is the future you. So F in the shift method is the future you. So this is about, you know, again, just stepping further into the being, but actually doing those things. Because it's one thing to identify what we want, and it's one thing to visualize what we want, and it's one thing to actually, like, see what we want. It's quite a different thing to step into that to actually do it, to actually create our reality, to actually put a stake in the ground, right? And say, no more, right? Like draw the line in the sand and like, this is the future me now. Because the quickest way that you're going to get to that next level you is to start doing everything that she would do. Literally everything, thoughts, beliefs, feelings, actions, like everything that she would do. And if you could, the quicker that you can close the gap between who you are right now and how you're showing up, and who you want to be that's where the quantum leap happens that's why like for some people it seems like so easy or like it happens so effortlessly and it's because of alignment it's alignment with this is who i want to be and this is how i'm going to act versus this is who i am now and i'm just going to keep being her until i get some sort of proof or some sort of evidence that it's okay to act different that it's okay to act as my future you so it's always going to be out there right so the f in shift is about the future you and really like what do i have to do on a daily basis and who do i have to be every single morning when i wake up this is a choice this is a decision to to be that future you now and the the faster and the quicker that you can become that future you the that's where the quantum leaps happen that's when it's like i literally went from nothing to like a million dollars that's when it went from you know i've had like zero clients to like 50 clients right and that's closing the gap this is probably the hardest part because there's so many things that we don't want to let go there's so many things that like we just we can't we can't let go because it's so comfy and it's so normal and this is why i'm so passionate about this work because we get to decide like even if i look at myself not just from three weeks ago when i made my own like major shift but seven years ago before i started this business before i really got into personal development and mindset and money mindset and all of that stuff i mean literally i don't even know who that person was i don't even know who that person was if any of you guys would have seen me or known me back then you would have been like oh my god i hate that girl like who who is that person right and it's just been and seven years in hindsight if you really look it's not that much that much time right seven years is not that much time so the fifth and final element of shift is to transcend to new heights so this is literally like discarding the old you like she doesn't even exist anymore and this is again one of those things that is like really difficult right because a lot of times we don't want to let go because again this is safe this feels okay it's it's good it's it's okay like a lot of people probably want your life but to really like just completely annihilate the old you so that everything that comes into your space everything that comes into your energy everything just is at a completely different frequency that like it becomes effortless every like you don't even have to do anything you don't even have to do anything because you've just 
literally transcended to new heights. You literally transcended into that neck, that person and the old one doesn't exist anymore. And so it's really about like how to take a stand, declutter your life, declutter everything that no longer serves you, saying goodbye. This is something that I did recently and, and I'm not a proponent of people who, you know, to get rid of like people in your life necessarily, but sometimes you have to, right? Like sometimes you have to, sometimes you have to just be like, it's, this is no longer serving me. And so either, right, you don't really have to get rid of people in your life. I get this question a lot um, from women who have, um, you know, husbands or spouses and things like that. They're like, oh, I don't know what to do, but I feel like he's holding me back. And my thing is always like, you lead from, you lead by example. You lead by example. So by you transcending, right, by you stepping into this new version of you, one of two things is gonna happen, right? So either number one, that person, and it doesn't have to be a spouse, it could be a relative, a friend, whatever, um, that person is gonna say, I really love that and I'm stepping up, right? So they're gonna take your new identity and they're gonna wanna step up and raise the bar themselves to, to be a part of your life or it's just gonna be an effortless falling away because they don't even match your frequency anymore. Like they just don't even match your energy. So that's usually what happens, but it's always like, I can't force someone to do something. I can't force someone to change, but I can change myself. And in changing myself, I change everything around me, right? I change the types of people that reach out to me for coaching or, you know, for business. I change how I show up for my clients. I change how I dress even, right? I mean, in quarantine, I mean, look at me. I'm like, first of all, I don't even do this out of quarantine and I'm like, just everything like head to toe like this is how i would show up if i was that multi-million dollar international businesswoman right this is how it would show up if i walked out you know on the street or i walked to the store did something like that how do i want people to see me all around right getting into alignment with all of it all of it so that is the shift method it is um five things s-h-i-f-t which are setting new standards healing old stories uh intentional identity the future you and transcendence. And it's such powerful work because we, we hit on all points. We hit on all the layers. So I'm like so stoked because this is actually a program that came to me or a metho methodology that came to me through working with so many people online, through working with people on mindset, through working with, you know, through my own shit. And this was actually something I created two years ago. And it just, it never came out. And it never came out because I didn't, I wasn't ready. Like I wasn't ready two years ago to teach this at the capacity and at the potency that I am able to do it now, where I literally can have like a 15 minute conversation with you and figure out exactly what's going on with you and what you need to shift like that. Um, it, it, I can just see it. I can see it in people. And I feel like when I first put this out or when I first came up with it, it was really powerful then but it's even more powerful now because of all of my own experience and being able to work with even more people and working deeper with people on this. And I'm telling you, this is what changes you. This is what grows your business. This is what allows you to have quantum leaps. This is what allows you to just be all of that you want to be, right? It is not your funnel. It is not, you know, some sales system. It is not um, getting on the phone with people. It is not having the right offer. Although those things are important to some degree at some point, without having all of these things in your arsenal and being able to get out, get out quickly. That's, that's kind of the way I see it, like as having like an unstoppable mindset and an unshakable mindset is like shit doesn't just stop happening to you. Like it's not like, I mean, maybe sort of like you could imagine like you have this force field around you now where it's like only good vibes, only good things, like this is me. Um, and, and that might be to a degree, but the reality is we're still human. So shit's gonna happen to us. We're gonna experience different things. We're gonna, you know, have things happen in our life. And when you have that unshakable and unmistakable confidence and mindset, it's like when this shit happens, you don't go to bed. Like when that shit happens, you don't lay down. When that shit happens, you figure it out and you figure it out really quickly and you're able to move beyond it or you're able to take it and use it as a lesson in your own life and with your clients. So the shift method, um, I'm gonna be teaching this to a small group, small intimate group of people. It's going to be a 12 week 
co mentorship and certification. So hang on so I can tell you guys exactly what it is because it's going to be epic. It's going to be epic. Um, so the first five weeks, we're actually going to dive deep into all the things I just explained to you. S-H-I-F-T, shift. We're gonna dive into all those things, work through all those things so that you can become that person that you wanna be. You can become and step into that next level you. The second five weeks, we're actually going to see how now we can take this new identity, this new next level, and apply it to your life and business. So to get the clients you want, get the um, you know coaching that you want, get the opportunities that you want, get the body that you want, the wealth that you want, help that you want, everything that you want, because this is just you. Like this is just who it is, and of course you're going to get what you want. So I'll give you a quick breakdown of the second five weeks, just because they're awesome. <laughs> so week six is going to be an annihilate your money limits. So really looking at like those those averages, right? Those normals that you have set for yourself and being able to completely smash those and you know create no limits in the amount of money and abundance that you can call into your life. Um, week seven is energy management and elevation. So exactly what I was talking about before, like just having this magnetic energy that people are just like, I want that. Whatever that is, I want that, right? Um, so energy management and elevation is week seven. Week eight is um, your downloads and your inspired ideas. So how do you actually, you know, now that you're in this new place and you're in this new space, how do you actually call in, you know, the perfect things for your clients, the perfect offers for your clients? Week nine, magnetism and attraction, and week 10 is getting the hell out of your own way. So um, those are the, the 10 core weeks. It's the five weeks of the shift, then the five weeks of how to then use your new identity to, you know, really grow your business and experience those quantum leaps. And then the final two weeks is where the certification comes in. So the final two weeks, you'll actually master like not only how to use shift in your own life in every situation that you have, but also how to use shift with your clients so that you can get your clients better results so that you can become a better coach. So I'm really excited about that part too, because I feel like if we all just commit to being better coaches, like the ripple effect is like real, right? The ripple effect is amazing, incredible. So um, basically you're gonna learn to master my shift formula and then have the creative license to be able to use that with your clients. So you'll get kind of like a little um, certification on that. So um, this is, I'm actually doing just for today only, well, it's actually been for the last two days, um, but for today only it's 50% um, off. So we're doing 50% off. It's gonna be a small group program. I don't know how many people are gonna be in there, but if I had to guess, about 10 or 12 is what I'm aiming for. So it's gonna be small, intimate. You're going to have a safe space to work through all of these things. And you're also going to get the attention that you want. Um, you're gonna get the, the coaching that you need. You're gonna get that hands-on. This is not gonna be some giant group where you're gonna get lost and I'm just spitting out content and trainings, right? Like we're actually going to be implementing and integrating all of this into your life in a small group container. We start March 4th which is I think in two weeks, something like that, a little less than two weeks. But the kicker here is that I also am offering a bonus when you sign up uh, for my program like Reclamation. So Reclamation is like my ultimate identity program. I ran this in December and it was just literally mind blowing for everybody that went through it. So when you sign up, you'll get Reclamation immediately. So you can go through the entire Reclamation course. And by the time you're done, we dive right into shift. So if you are interested in this, if this is calling your name, if you're like, oh my God, I need this in my life right now, um, just message me, send me a message. I'm not scary, I don't bite. Um, I love getting people in my inbox actually. So just send me a message, say I'm interested, give me more details and I, I'll give you the investment and any other details that you want. But this is, I'm just so excited for this. So excited to really help not just transform, but like really transcend you to new levels. And I've experienced it in my own life. I've experienced it with my clients and it's just such, such important work for, for us to do in this world. So guys, I'm going to go. I can't believe I've been talking for 30 minutes, but as you can see, I'm super passionate about this. Um, let me just read through the comments really quick before I go. Oh, what did I say? I didn't say May 4th, but it's May 4th. <laughs> um, Claudia says, identity first, that's such a truth moment. Hey, Nicole, um, I find most of my friends that I thought were friends are falling away because you've chosen to step up. They're just not in your energy field anymore. That's it. Um, yes to new standards. Oh, I love this yes morning. I was aff affirming the powerful self. Well, here's the thing, affirmations, 
don't always work <laughs> and they don't work if we're not actually shifting the identity and if we're not actually stepping into like everything that that we desire to be um i am australia's number one empower with empowerment women's coach that's incredible um uh, let's see up level my new normal hooking up with an energy healer to move some old energy and of course upgrading my mindset so powerful jen love 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 you i love you too um what happens and how do you deal with some people can't handle your new identity so it's just like it if somebody can't handle what you're going through like i said it's, it should be really effortless of like you don't have to do anything you just have to be and those people are either going to make a choice well they're going to make a choice one they're going to up level right so that they can stay in your life and stay in your field and stay in your energy or they're just going to effortless effortlessly fall away um, yes, you have great energy. It's infectious. Thank you. Um, staying consistent with embodying the future me. That's a big step. I want so much. How do you support yourself as moving away from your old life? It's just, I mean, it's what I'm teaching in shift and it's, it's a consistent, it's really a consistent commitment to who I desire to be and grounding myself in that every single day. Every single day is a choice. Every single day is a brand new choice, right? It's not like I just decide once and I'm good to go. Like, because all of the stories, all of the beliefs, all of the shit, it didn't just happen overnight. It didn't, didn't just happen by me doing it once. It happens from years and years and decades and decades of practice, right? So every day I wake up, it's, I gotta make a new choice. Who am I gonna be, right? Every single day. Um, and I think that is it, old energy of people that don't align where you're going. Yes, yeah, so May 4th, we start um, the 50% off ends tonight. So if you're interested, don't, I wouldn't hesitate. Just send me a message. Um, I'll let you know whatever you need to know i fill in whatever gaps you need to fill in and i would love 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 to support you guys in this because it is just going to be so powerful so epic and what i see on the other side for you is just mind-blowing so i'm gonna go if you're watching the replay here feel free also to reach out to me comment let me know what you think of the shift method and being able to just really go through and dive into those layers to create a new reality and a new next level bye